Hello everyone, welcome to our first League of Legends tutorial, where to put wards. In this tutorial, we'll cover the best spots for, for warding and I'll give you the explanation why sh you should put it in that spot. This will benefit new and advanced players. Basically, when you follow this guide, it will s save you some time, gold, and also your lives during the laning phase. I hope you enjoy guys. We'll start the tutorial from bottom lane to top lane. Let's start from the bottom lane. Put the ward between the groups of stones and lily pads. In this way, we can see the enemies trying to gank you, and also to see if they'll steal your team's jungle. Next is warding the dragon. Warding the dragon is one of the most important warding spots in the game. Place it on top of the second stone close to a dragon, so that you can visibly see the dragon. You can also see the incoming ganks from mid or bottom lane, and also, you can foresee if the enemy team will try to kill the dragon. Right side mail lane. Put the ward inside the mail brush, so that you can see incoming ganks from bottom and from the enemy jungle. This works on both teams. Lastly, the highest priority for basic warding is warding the Baron the right way. Basically, you put the ward to the most extent that it will still show you the Baron and the surrounding areas in front of it. In this way, you can foresee the, it, the enemy if they will try to kill the Baron, thus giving your team enough time to react. Never, ever, ever put your wards in this spot. It's the worst spot for a warding Baron. Do you know why? Because it will only show you the time when the enemy will initiate the Baron, thus giving your team less time to react. Also, never do this to a dragon too, because it will give you less reaction time. I hope you guys enjoy our tutorial. Like, comment, and subscribe. Meaningful feedback will be awesome. See you guys later. MRAB Elite, signing off.